Hey, thanks so much for being here. Great conversation with Chief Walther from the Scottsdale Police Department. And uh, there's a story at AZ Central you can see at the Arizona Republic. Organized crime groups from South America linked to Metro Phoenix burglaries. And he made a clarification that the intelligence information that they have, the data that they have, points to this as being the same kinds and groups of people that were doing things going back to 2019. He said, if we arrest people and it doesn't end up being these same groups, we can address it. But everything matches up with this, that these are people that what is called crime tourism. And I, when I asked him about this. There's a phrase for it called crime tourism. What exactly is it and how common is it? Here was his answer. You know, I can tell you in in, uh, in my city and certainly in the Valley, but, uh, you know, we made arrests after a very similar, almost identical uh, burglary series in 2019. And then we had an almost identical burglary series in 2022 where we also made arrests. Um, these were both of those series were from uh, Chilean nationals uh, who come into the country on the visa waiver program. And so this is what's what is fascinating to me is this is pe- these are people that are coming here. He compared it to um, retail theft, that organized retail theft, that it's the same situation where they're stealing things from people's homes, but it's organized and they understand where the good stuff is and they're going to places around the valley and around the country and they're stealing things. He said this is a national issue. But when I asked him, and he, I didn't ask him, he volunteered, this is what they're stealing. Listen to this. Think about it in these terms. It's cash. It's, uh, it's jewelry. It's uh, high-end purses. Uh, it's uh, precious metals and, and things like that. And I know people be like, high-end purses? Wait a minute. Because these, these groups are also connected to a very strong and robust organized retail theft crews uh, that are hitting our malls and our shopping centers and our retail outlets for high-end purses that, uh, and, and other materials that can then just be uh, sent back to their home countries and that's you know that is a scary proposition so how do you how do you tell people what are you saying to people about this we get the message out as much as we can. We have been blasting this on, on social media, on press releases. I'll do interviews um, with different news stations uh, on this very issue just to continue to get the word out. But more than that, we're spending a lot of time um, with community groups and HOA associations and, and our citizenry spending time with council, having discussion about this, really putting the word out um, to protect yourselves, to protect your properties. Uh, we're doing uh, dozens and dozens of security surveys. And, you know, t- saying that people have been in there, that the, these burglars are in the home somewhere between, you know, sometimes eight to ten minutes and they're gone with this property you're probably never going to see again. How can you help prevent this? We were very fortunate the other day when a neighbor called in and said, hey, I, I heard something. And we wound up actually, uh, that, that neighbor, because they were out in their backyard and uh, they were moving around and they started looking over in, into different areas, they actually thwarted uh, a, a burglary happening to their neighbor's residence. So it is the idea of having a connection with your neighbor. And I've got great neighbors. I know the neighbors across the street from me now and a couple of doors down. And so I'm familiar with my neighbors, but not as close as I was in my old neighborhood. My wife talked about my old, my neighbor, Paul, and his wife and uh, getting along with them very well. And I'm still friends with them. And I still have that house in that neighborhood. And uh, when uh, they're out of town, uh, I watch their place. When I was out of town, they watched my place. And it was something we made a concerted effort to do, to look out for each other. We had neighbors around us that had been in that neighborhood for decades, and that's one of the things they take pride in is looking out for each other, not getting in each other's business, but making sure you're looking out. If you see something out of place, a car that looks like it doesn't belong there, something else, somebody in this case wandering around, and this is what he talks about, if you see something out of the ordinary, you got to call the police. We need to people to call us to say, hey, I saw something out of the ordinary. I saw people walking, you know, it's it's, uh, just about, it's dusk or it's getting dark. And I just saw a couple, you know, a couple guys uh, walking in the wash or back in the desert. You have to call us. You have to connect with your, with your homeowners associations or at least connect with your neighbors and have conversation. And I I think that's sound advice. You know, uh, no one, I can't think of anything that's, it's such a big violation to be a victim of a crime like that. Uh, if you've never been, it's terror. I've never had a burglary in my home, but I've had my car broken into. I've had my car stolen. And it, it, it's a horrible feeling of invasion. I can't imagine it being inside my home. That's the thing. Protect yourself. You know, uh, and I, uh, I, I've i got to tell you, Chief Walther was, was a, it was such a great interview. I hope you'll go back and listen to it in its entirety. Again, go to the YouTube channel, the KTAR YouTube channel. Subscribe there. Uh, go to the podcast. You can go to KTAR.com. There's multitudes of ways. 
to watch and listen to this, but it's so important to get the information out. That's one of the things he said is talking to news outlets that this is happening. He's also working with, uh, I want you to hear this, working with law enforcement partners all around the valley. Everybody that's being really impacted by this, it's really working together and sharing intelligence and then, and then talking about putting a larger, you know, potentially a larger task force together to continue to work this problem since it's hitting all of us right now. So let me jump to another East Valley city for a moment. The city of Chandler, whose police chief is, re- is retiring, um, the city of Chandler has seen the lowest crime rate it's ever had in its city. And the chief of police being humble in a way, I know in a sense he's giving credit to the officers that work in that agency, but he also gave credit to the community. And it's a partnership between law enforcement and the community that when they see a crime, they report a crime. When they see something suspicious, they report it. And it's interesting to hear Chief Walther as he talks about this and the success they've had in the city of Scottsdale. It's because of that same partnership. Residents of the city of Scottsdale reaching out with their neighbors, but also when they see something, calling the police, letting them know so that it's more eyes and ears out there on the lookout. So if you live in these areas where, and that's really what people live for here if you can, your property backs up to a wash or a desert area, you know, a desert preserve. If you're on a golf course where people have access to the cart paths and to get to your property through the back when you're not home, when you're at work during the day. A lot of these things are happening, and he talked about it being at night at dusk when people, you know, but if it's when people aren't home during the workday, imagine where you are now. He talked about security surveys, and they will, you can call, this is Scottsdale, I don't know if other cities are doing it, where they'll come out and they'll look at your home and say, do you have motion sensors? Do you have cameras? Do you have foliage? Do you have plants and bushes that are blocking windows and doors so people can approach and break in without being seen? If you want to do one of those security surveys, Scottsdale PD does it for residents of Scottsdale. I imagine other cities where they're able, they do that as well. My point is we all work very hard. We work very hard for the place, the property and the things that we love and the people we love. But it's also that sense of security. Your home is supposed to be your castle. An invasion of that privacy takes a long time to get over. So doing what you can to prevent it matters most. Being aware, talking to your neighbors, looking out for each other, and then calling the police when you see something. Sound advice from the chief. It was a great conversation with him. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.